everyone it's your girl trish welcome back to my channel for another video i know i've been gone for a minute but your girl was moving and my crown has been tripping so i'm still trying to figure that out um so i'm gonna be recording on my phone until you know i can figure out my camera um so in today's video i will be showing you guys my um i guess like a business vlog i guess i'm getting ready for black friday so i'm creating products labeling and doing all that stuff so i wanted to Bring you guys on my uh on the ride with me and show you guys and show you how I, how i do stuff and everything um i hope you guys like really enjoy the content um of this today's video um let me know if you guys want to see more business videos um i have uploaded a few or whatever i think i'll create it into a playlist actually but yeah so i'm not gonna keep you guys too long i'll be sure to include all my business stuff down in the description box so make sure to check me out on instagram and also please don't leave here without subscribing to my channel to keep up with me and if you guys want to see more videos like this makeup tutorials lifestyle videos hauls just make sure to um, subscribe to my channel so let's get into this video y'all so in this clip here um just starting off i am making my last batch of body butter since i've already made three um last night um so yeah it's, it's mostly it's already for the most part then melting i'm just waiting for all these little chunks to finish melting and i do melt my stuff on low to medium heat because if you melt it on uh too much of a high heat it will burn away all the ingredients and the nutrients that you get from your bu your butters and your oils so over here is actually like my batches that i've already made these are what my jars look like um i changed the jars um as you i don't know if you guys watch my apartment tour but um i did have like a rounder top lit um y'all can't think i had a rounded top lid but i changed to this flat looking one because i like the i like the aesthetic of this um lid and instead of doing like colored body butters um i'm doing i'm just gonna stick with the cream color because i really really like it and i changed up my labels as well but she, so you guys will see that here in a little bit and um, so I have all this over here. I've already like sanitized these jars on my lids over here So yeah Okay, so right now this is my little work area. I always cover my oh well I've always wiped down my space with Lysol first or uh, rubbing alcohol and then I put on I get these little um, Tablecloths from Dollar Tree and I'll put it over my surface um, Do not sleep on Dollar Tree when it comes to your business because you can get a lot of like your utensils and stuff and stuff like this and cute little packaging ideas or a cute little photo prop ideas from dollar tree that's why i tend to go a lot um so yeah this is my mess over here so yeah so after my butters and oils have um completely liquefied i like to pop my stuff in the refrigerator and let it cool off and then once it's done cooling off i'll put it in the freezer for about 30 40 minutes um yeah and once once it cools off it like it solidifies really quick so that's why i'll leave it in for about 30 and 30 to 45 minutes um so i let i like to let my butter solidify a little bit but still with it being a little liquidy, if that makes sense. So right here, you're just going to see me whipping up my body butter. Um, this is my process. This is what I like to do. Um, everybody is different. Everybody does th things different. This is just my take. And this is how I like to do my body butters. I love the consistency and the quality that I get when I do my body butters when I do it this way. So it's a trial and error thing. You just kind of learn how you you learn as you go. So that top clip is just how it looks like when I'm whipping it up. It's just really smooth and silky. And I just, I love the quality of my body butters, you guys. So here is what it looks like when I am done whipping. I like to pour my body butters or pipe them when they're still kind of liquid. This is easier to go in the jar when it's like that. And as it like as it um as it sets it solidifies in the jar so here's i'm just popping the body butters in my jars and i like to like beat it on the table a little bit to eliminate the bubbles and these are eight ounce jars
let me know down in the comment section how you guys like these entrepreneur videos if you guys want to see more videos like this i have some other entrepreneur videos but not like this so let me know if you guys like this style of like videos y'all piping is not always the prettiest thing y'all so y'all just gonna have to bear with me but i do clean up my jars and make them look presentable and wipe off the sides and stuff once i'm done so now that i'm done with the body butters this is actually one of my body scrubs because i do body scrubs and body butters so this is my last one that i made i made the other three before this one so i just wanted to show you guys what that looked like so here um, i'm just gonna pour, i'm pouring them into the jars now and this is just what I do um, when I'm putting my body butters, my body scrubs in my jars. It's easier for me this way. I have four scents. So I have uh, 32 jars of body butters and 32 jars of body scrubs because I did eight jars of each scent, if that makes sense. So this is what my body butters look like. The first three is completely like solidified in the jar. So that's why they look a little bit more whiter. And then that last one is the one I just did. These are the body scrubs. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so pretty. I love the color. I love the way I did the texture in the jar. So this is just each scent next to each other and with the body butter. Okay, y'all. So this is what like the final jars and my products are looking like. Um, these are the labels. Uh, let me just pick up one so I can show you. So this is what my labels are looking like. So this is all of this is my body scrubs and body butters for warm wishes. Over here we got Nazi and Nice. Over here we got Let's Get Cozy, and then down here is Campfire Cabin. So I am stocked and ready on the body butters, y'all. Um, these are my body oils that I made last week uh, that I will be launching on my um, on my site. I've been I started out with just um, body butters and body scrubs, but I'm adding on body oils as you guys can see. So this is what it looks like. I just wanted to keep my all my labels the same with the design and everything. And then of course I have my lip scrubs down here. That I decided to go ahead. I wanted to do some seasonal scents. I made these last week as well. These are the little the containers look like they're just cute little pots that I found. They're super super cute, sleek and simple. I love the look of them. So we got toasted marshmallow. Um, this one is blue, and then this one is like a light green color, caramel mocha, and it smells just like it literally smells like um coffee so that's what that looks like and then the only thing left for me to do now is make the lip glosses gotta make my lip glosses um by the time you guys see this video though um it'll probably be it'll be after black friday but the collection everything will still be available to purchase okay y'all so today is a new day it's the next day so it's actually thanksgiving night now now that i'm done with dinner and everything i came home and decided to do these glosses really quick um, because it was the last thing that I needed to get done. So this is one of my colors. This one is called Nude Vibes. The gold one that you guys are going to see me um, mixing up um, next is um, called Rich Caramel or Caramel, however you want to pronounce it. So now I'm just going to put them. I'm going to let you guys watch me putting them in the tubes. So here is just me just um, filling my tubes. I only made six tubes of each gloss because when I'm doing glosses, I don't like to make too many tubes. Um, so I do keep the leftover. Whatever gloss I don't use, I do keep them in my little containers that I get from Dollar Tree. And I put those away. And then like once these sell out, then I'll fill some more tubes, if that makes sense. I'm feeling rich caramel actually. I already have filled nude vibes. <laughs> you guys are going to actually see me fill seven too because I usually what I do is I keep, I always keep a uh, lip gloss shade from, uh, I just, I usually always keep a tube or I usually always keep a tube for myself. So that's why you guys see me feeling seven.
so this is what all my tubes are looking like now that i'm done filling them i usually go through and clean them off and make them look nice and pretty and label them and everything so here is what they're looking like okay hey y'all it is the next morning um just want to come in really quick and close out this video um i hope you guys enjoyed the video just like showing you guys how i do everything how I work when I'm working on my products. Hopefully you guys got some tips. Um, today is Black Friday. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving with their friends and their loved ones and their family and did a lot of eating because I know I did. Um, but the site is now live. The products are available to shop if you guys want to buy anything from me. All my business, uh, all my business stuff will be listed down in the description box. And please do not leave here without subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you.